What's up, girl? Good morning. Well, it's actually late. It's like... What time is it? It's 12.23, girl. I... Listen. Listen, I don't want to hear it. I've been up. I've been up. I just couldn't get up. <laughs> you understand? I was in my bed, and I was just chilling with my warm blanket. And I just couldn't get up. I was supposed to go to the gym today. But I have a ton of packages I need to open today. I want to get my kitchen somewhat um, organized. I want to like replace some things. Like I have my knives over here. I kind of want them more over there. I want to remove the toaster over there. I just, it's just a lot. <laughs> so I decided I was just going to stay home today on this good Saturday. At least in the daytime because tonight we're going out okay i found a nice little lounge it's like it, it reminds me of like i don't know kind of like gothy i'm loving the inside of it maybe we'll take a picture or two girl it's called the cabinet of curiosities and i'm going with my god sister and i think her husband is coming if i'm not mistaken i think he's gonna meet us there or something like that i don't know but we're going out tonight <laughs> I think it's near Fremont, Las Vegas, like downtown Las Vegas, near the Fremont area. Some of my coworkers that I've been meeting, they said that the Fremont area, like downtown, is like really, really good for having those nice speakeasies and lounges. And y'all know that's what I like, girl. That's what I like. I don't like to go to no club and get shot up, stabbed up, all of that stuff, girl. I, I want to sit in a little lounge and shake my ass in my seat, have me a little drink or two, and then leave. Like, girl, I don't, I don't be like on the floor with my six inch heels on no i need to be in the seat girl because i just i just don't have time for it so um i'm gonna go to this place tonight and i absolutely don't know what i'm gonna wear but we don't worry about that later okay so um right now dior is on the couch just watching me <laughs> unbox these packages and i just wanted to show y'all this that i found on aliexpress girl let me tell y'all i might do a haul i might do an aliexpress home decor haul because i've been finding a lot of nice stuff on aliexpress that has been coming to me in like two weeks that has to do with my home stuff right but this is the first thing that arrived so this is like a little soap dispenser and i'm gonna put it in my kitchen on my kitchen sink because i wanted to originally i wanted to do a hand soap dispenser like in my bathroom so i have the hand soap dispenser but i don't know i just feel like it's gonna ruin the tile i really like the way the tile looks and um i just thought this was really cute and it's white and it's like clear so you'll be able to see the liquid so i'm gonna fill this up and um we're gonna see how it looks on my kitchen sink here Do y'all think it looks good? Girl, can you see me? I think it looks really good on the kitchen sink. I just think it's like, it's, it's modern, it's different, and that's kind of what I wanted. You know, something modern, different, and white to go with the kitchen, and I think it goes. It, it held the entire bowl, almost the entire bottle. I feel like I've been using that bottle of dish soap so if it was completely full I feel like I would have a little bit more left but I think it's real chic and like convenient and then you have a pump you know even though I use the dishwasher it's still nice to have that there but anyway I got another box for you all um this is my teapot I bought a teapot 
And girl, I'm drinking, look, I'm drinking some tea right now. And I totally forgot I had a teapot sitting here on the floor. I could have made a whole pot of tea versus waste a bag on like a cup of tea. So, girl, yeah, it's been a long week. So I bought this teapot on Amazon. And again, everything will be linked down in my Amazon store. And then I'll also link that uh, soap dispenser from AliExpress in my description box as well. If you guys uh, want to buy that. They also had it in black too, I think. Really cute. Oh, this is packed really well, which I like. So this is a teapot. <laughs> if I can get it out of this uh, foam here which is nice because that just means it's protected oh my gosh i'm gonna have to cut it that's really nice though because some amazon things like i had bought some glasses y'all and i had to um return them like some um drinking glasses because they were all broken so i like how this company really like packed it that makes a difference and like wasting time because those um glasses actually took a long time to come and when they finally came they were all broken so i ordered them again because they're the glasses that i want y'all so um when they come i'll show you guys Ooh. okay here we go so it's a lot smaller than I anticipated, but it's still cute. And the reason why I got it was because it has the filter inside here. And I think you can take this out. Oh, you can take this part out. So it has a filter in here. So, I mean, on the instructions, it said to put the bags directly in the bowl if you have a, like a bag of tea. But if you have loose tea, this is good. So that way you won't get like little particles in it. You can just put it in here and it'll like filter itself you know so I really like that and it's clear I feel like it's like simple and it's stylish it was actually really affordable as well so I got that so we can start making some tea up in here I'm gonna buy a coffee machine too like I I narrowed it down to a few coffee machines because remember I told y'all I wanted to make a coffee bar like yes I want to make a coffee bar somewhere over here. So that's why I'm moving. I'm reorganizing this stuff because I need room for the coffee bar. I think I'm going to put it right here because the plug is right there. So I'm going to make a coffee bar. And I have in mind two coffee machines that I want to purchase. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to pull the trigger on. But I'm definitely going to do it soon. <laughs> because I want to essentially kind of cut down, even though Starbucks is the whole vibe, I love Starbucks, and me and my daughter was just talking about this yesterday, I was like, I feel like we have, we're addicted to Starbucks, especially her, she's addicted, she has to go like every day and buy a Starbucks, and so I'm just like, we're spending so much money on Starbucks, so we can like make our own coffee here, so um, there's Starbucks coffee that you can buy, you know, like, so... I'm betting on saving my money 2023 and trying to save my money because I do want to buy a house. I've been saving up to buy a house. I do want to build my own house as well. So buy land and then like build it, like custom build it to me. So it's going to take money. So I've been trying to just save my money more and more. I've been working more too, girl. I've been putting in overtime hours and um, just saving my money more versus spending it. So that's the plan. So I feel like buying my own coffee maker and being able to like have all the syrups and all the creams and mix my own stuff, that's going to save money. So, um, well, I'm going to try to save money because Starbucks is the whole vibe. I feel like I have to go in there sometimes and sometimes I'm in there and I'm editing and you know, like Starbucks is a vibe, bro, but we're going to turn the house into a vibe as well so we can save money. So anyway... We got the teapot, and do I have anything else? Oh, I do. Girl, I do. I have um, these white velvet hangers. I don't know if I want to show y'all those. They're just white velvet hangers, but I'll, I'll bring them. Let's see. So they're just white velvet hangers. Because um, I even wanted my closet to be copacetic with my... Um, 
theme of the condo. It's either on white or cream. Does that have my cream too? And I like the cream, but I like the white better. I think the white just stands out, especially with the silver. It just looks really nice. So here's just some whites. I don't know if you guys can see. Am I blocking the light? It's just like some really soft velvet white hangers. I like velvet hangers because there's like non-slip, you know, your stuff won't come off. And I just feel like I needed to invest in some better hangers. I also have the pants hangers like this. Um, they're white velvet with like the clips, but they haven't came yet. They're ordered, but they haven't came. So um, I also got the matching pants ones. Let's open this hair and make sure it's everything that we want. Cause I'm trying to get my hair done this weekend. My god sister is gonna do it because she does hair. She does mostly braids, um, but she says she does weaves too. Cause y'all know me, I'm just simple. I like a simple sewing. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit out. I think I'm gonna do like a middle part this time. Cause right now I have like a side part, but I think I'm gonna leave like the middle out this time. And um, I'm going to go a little longer, not too long, girl, but just a little longer. Can you see me? I feel like the light from my, from the natural light is bouncing off of this light. It just looks crazy. So I ordered it from the same company that I um, used last time. And... I forgot what it was called. But I'll leave it down in the description box. I forgot. I've been liking that hair lately, girl. I kind of swapped them out. Um, swapped them out from cranberry hair. Because I know I love cranberry hair. But now I've been using this other. Oh, JC. JC hair. That's what it's called. I've been using this other company because the shipping is faster. And the hair is like. The hair is tough too. What? Dior. I'm talking to my peoples right now. Okay, girl. You are interrupting me. Okay, so I got 18 inch. I got all 18 inch. So it's just three bundles of 18 inch. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure if I want to cut it. I might just leave it its full length. So it's not that long. You know, I just don't feel like. Cause y'all know I love me a good long hair girl. Normally I'm a 22 inches a better girl, but lately I just don't want to deal with any long hair. I just feel like it's such, it's like a lot of maintenance. And right now I don't have time to be like just doing my hair, curling it, maintenance in it. I just want something simple and easy at a great length that I can like take care of it, but at the same time it still looks nice. Dior. You got something to say? Okay, can you be quiet? I know y'all hear her over there moaning. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what's wrong with her. She, <laughs> I told you, it's going to be some time for her to get used to people walking back and forth <laughs> the condo. But it's just straight. I think it's Brazilian. Or no, I think it's Malaysian. It's just straight Malaysian here. Because I think they only have Malaysian Brazilian. Um... I, I mean, it, it feels nice, and I feel like it's 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 a long length, but it's not too long. So, 18 inch from the top of my head goes to like right here. So, I feel like I feel like this will be a perfect length. I might have her cut it a little bit just to kind of even it out, so it can be kind of like that chopped look. But other than that, I feel like I'm just gonna stick to 18 inches for now. And then, as it gets warmer, or maybe if I just feel like being that girl that bitch honey with the long hair i'll put the long hair back on but for now it's low maintenance for me so i've been sitting on this couch <laughs> me and dior in this in this heated blanket girl because it is just i got my heat on and i am just chilling but um girl listen sunny just left apparently her dad has some people out here and um like some people that he knows and then Sonny knows um the daughters so uh the mom actually came over and we had a good little conversation 
she moved um, from California to here as well, and she moved her daughters here. And apparently her and uh, my daughter, or her daughters and my daughter know each other from California, so um, it was cute. They liked the little reunite thing where they got to reunite, and uh, the mom took them thrifting because Sunny had been wanting to go thrifting. I just haven't been able to take her. So um, the mom, apparently, she thrifts all the time. So um, they decided to take them thrifting. And so I'm in the house, home alone, me and Dior girl. And um, I'm thinking about heading out. I was supposed to go wine shopping today for my wine rack because I feel like I want to build it sometime this week. Because it's just a box laying on the floor. I'm just like, girl, I cannot stand that. I cannot stand this box that's on the floor. Because I wanted to wait until I got my table and my chairs. But I feel like I'm just going to build it and fill, fill it with wine. I think it would, like, just look good. Even though there's, like, no table and chairs there, I feel like it would look nice over there. And it will give me something to do. I feel like, um, I mean... I feel like I've been busy, but I kind of like to um, stay busy and just doing things because that just kind of, because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just that I don't like to sit alone in my thoughts because I just have so much going on, you know, and just so much to think about. Um... Like, I started the papers on my divorce and stuff, and it's just, like, it's just a lot. So, I feel like in order to counteract that, I need to just be doing stuff. And why not do stuff that's beneficial, like, to my condo, you know? Like, something that could, like, fix it up and get it to where it needs to be. Because, you know, girl, we, we got a lot of stuff to do. Tomorrow, my god sister's husband is coming over to mount my TV, so at least we'll get that done. Today, I'm going out with my god sister girl. Um, but she's not even answering the phone, so I don't know. Maybe she's asleep or something, but either way, y'all already know I'm going out, period. Uh, but then, um, when Sonny's friend's mom and them left, girl, I went in my, um, my room looking for something to wear, and I don't even have anything to wear. I'm just like, what am I going to wear? Because I told y'all I threw away, like, all my clothes. Like, I literally threw away all my clothes. And I ordered clothes, but they're not here yet. So, I feel like going out and just looking for something real quick. There's a mall close by. It doesn't close until 7. So, I might just hit up one of those cute little stores and buy, like, a cute little outfit. It's just a lounge. But I feel like I deserve it. I know I shouldn't be, like, wasting money on clothes when I just bought some. Like, I literally just bought a few dresses and stuff. Um, but I feel like I just don't have anything to wear. And it's a little chilly today. So maybe I'll find something, like, comfortable but cute and warm to wear tonight. Just to have a drink or two. And then come home, girl. Nothing to, um crazy because I didn't go to the gym today and I need to go tomorrow so I'm going to wake up early in the morning and go girl because listen 2023 is about consistency and um, even now I just want to finish the year off strong like I've been going to the gym I had to stop because I had like a lot going on but now I'm kind of settled I'm here in Vegas and I need to go so um, I'm actually planning out a routine for myself like I actually want to create a new routine for myself and just keep it going you know um, with manifesting with working out taking my collagen my vitamins doing my gratitude journal girl you know what that's what I need to do I need to go on Etsy and order me another journal because I've been writing a lot I've actually been writing like a manifesto or kind of like a book, kind of like my experience um, being a military wife and um, 
yeah so I've been doing that so I've been doing a lot of writing so I actually need a separate journal for gratitude writing because I want to write I saw this Oprah talk was it Oprah? yeah I think it was Oprah she it was on YouTube but she had like and it was like a cute little 10 minute clip it wasn't even a lot going on but she had this thing where she was talking about girl what is this This is a whole truck that just stopped in front of my, I wonder if this is my bed because they're supposed to be calling me though. I don't know. They'll knock on the door girl. Um, cause my bed girl, I got an email saying that my bed is like literally almost here. So I should be getting my bed real soon. So every day I've been kind of like checking on it and making sure, to, but they're supposed to call me. They're supposed to call me a week before or a few days before the delivery to like schedule the actual day. You are, sit down. What you gonna do if they come in here? You gonna kill them? Kill, kill. Girl. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Oprah thing. You are, can you stop? I'm for sure they're not coming here, Whoopi, okay? Come here. Come here. Yeah, have a seat on in your spot there. Um, so what I was saying was I saw this Oprah clip. It was like a 10-minute clip, and she was basically saying things that will improve your life. And one of them was writing gratitude or writing something that you're grateful for or how does it how do you say that like gratitude expressing gratitude every day and how she does it is she writes five things that she's grateful for every day when she wakes up first thing in the morning when she wakes up and i think that's a good idea girl because like given the circumstances with um 2023 fastly approaching and girl, I don't talk about this a lot, but I be feeling like when the end of the year comes, a lot of people just start deleting. Like, I don't want to say the word because YouTube, but like passing, you know, a lot of people start being deleted off of the face of the earth, girl. Um, because I just feel like that's, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories on here, but like, I feel like that's what happens like, I feel like the world starts picking and choosing, like, you know, who's going to make it to the next year or not, like, around this time. It seems like around this time, a lot of people just start going. And so, um, I actually experienced it. You guys know my ex-boyfriend, who I love very, very much and who I um, hold dear to my heart, even when I was married. Um, he was still my friend. He was still a great guy. Um, he died this year. You know, I told you guys he um, had some chest pains and um, went to the doctor. And the doctor said, oh, it's okay, lay down. He went to sleep and never woke up. So um, I am I always put, or I've always been saying, because I don't have the journal right now, but I've been doing it every day. I've been waking up in the morning and expressing what I'm grateful for. And one of the things that I'm really grateful for is, girl, that I'll probably say each and every time is that I'm grateful for waking up in the morning. Because a lot of people just aren't waking up in the morning, girl. A lot of people just aren't waking up. We got takeoff. We got P&B rock. We got people just, you know, and I'm, I'm grateful waking up every morning. I'm grateful for my daughter waking up every morning and having our health intact, making it here. I'm grateful for making it here, you know, by myself. I did that whole drive, you know. I'm grateful just for... A lot of things girl so I feel like that's a good idea because uh, Oprah said when you practice gratitude it opens up more um, I guess more room to receive more great things you know what I mean so like I definitely want to do that because there's definitely some things that I'm grateful for like y'all don't even know like I'm grateful because it could have been a whole lot worse so I want to start doing that 
So I need to actually find a gratitude journal. And all of my cute little journals that I find are usually, I find them on eBay or Etsy. So I definitely need to find a journal as well. But I ain't going to do that today. I think I'm about to get up. I'm about to force myself to get up. Because it is, it is, even though it's not cold because I have my heat on and then I have this heated blanket, I just, ooh, I just don't want to get up because it just feels so good. But I'm going out tonight, girl. I don't care how cold it is. I'm going out. I'm going to be in the city. I'm going to be on the ground. Boots on the ground. I'm going to be on the ground. And um, I'm going to have me a nice drink regardless of who comes or not, girl, because I deserve it. I feel like I made it through the week. I made it through orientation at my job i made it through my first day girl i started my first day on my unit on friday and i did such a good job so i deserve it so yeah let me get up i guess i'll get up and go to the small and see what they got and i call y'all i call y'all back when i get to the mall anything well i found oh, i hate how the light bounces off like that i found um some pants i needed some black uh pants like these little regular flare pants that i just wear out every once in a while like these because for some reason my other one's ripped so i found some of these so i found a dress girl i don't know if i'm gonna wear it tonight i should because that was the purpose of going to the mall to find something but, um, girl, I feel like it's a little bit too dressy for this place. I feel like this place is more like a lounge. Even though it looks, I don't know, in the pictures it looks a little upscale. But who knows, girl. I, I don't know. But, so I found this. I thought it was cute and warm because that was my concern. Because I don't want to, like, come in there with, like, layers and layers of, like, jackets or whatever. So, it's a cute little button-up. Um, it's really long dress it comes with like a little um belt right here it's it's cute it shows off the curves it's really like curvy i love the material it's like a velvet material the color is okay they either had that this color a green or a blue i don't want to look too christmasy or holiday -y, so i picked the blue so i don't know i'm gonna wear it girl i think i'm gonna be looking a little i don't know like a dressed up freak or something but whatever we're going to wear it, so I'm going to get ready. And um, Oh, and I bought some lashes. I didn't go to the beauty supply. I actually bought lashes at that place. That place is called um, Ever. It's called Ever. And they had lashes. These lashes were like 10 yeah, ten ninety. And um, what are these kind? So I didn't have to go to the beauty supply, so that was good. So yeah, girl, um... I'm going to get ready because I got about three hours. I'm going to get ready. And then I'll pick y'all up when we um, get there. Girl, oh my God. I am pissed. Let me let me sit on my bathtub <clears throat> real quick. My bathtub has a whole seat, y'all. Look. A whole seat. Like a whole thing. And it's big, too, that you can, like, sit on. I don't know why because the shower is right there and it comes. So, I don't know. But anyway, girl. Let me tell y'all, this this is gonna be bathroom chronicles, <laughs> bathtub chronicles or something. Girl, I did my makeup for no reason. I am not going out, girl, I'm so mad. Let me tell y'all what happened. First of all, my god sister did not answer the phone. I don't know what's going on. I hope everything's okay, but that's not like her to not um, pick up the phone and stuff. And I was even like uh, Instagramming her husband, like, hey, are y'all still going? Because he was supposed to go too, and he didn't answer. So, um, I don't know what's up with that. But that's not the reason why um, I'm not going. Because y'all know me. Um, I go regardless. The reason why I'm not going, girl, is because I did not have a, res a reservation. And I just found this out that you needed a reservation to go to the secret keyhole cabinet bar. Now, the bar I was supposed to go to, or the lounge I was supposed to go to, is called the Cabinet of Curiosities. And, um... 
It's inside the Bally's Hotel. Apparently they have two bars and I didn't know that. I just thought they had this secret keyhole bar and I didn't think you needed a reservation for it. So they have two bars. The one that you don't need a reservation for is a self-serve bar and a self-seating. Like you can sit there or whatever. It's just first come first serve. And um, it's, it's a different bar. It's not the secret. <sighs> Girl, look at me. I don't need to go out anyway, I'm tired. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so the the bar where you don't need reservations, that's not, that wasn't my goal. I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go to the secret keyhole bar because there's like secret things and like, you know, I wanted to go there, okay? Y'all know me. I want to go more upscale um, and I like to explore things, you know? It's like, a, it, it's called the secret keyhole for a reason. It even has like a secret menu, girl. And I just wanted to experience that. So when I called, they said, you have to have a reservation for that one. So I said, okay, can I make one tonight? She looks, girl, there's no reservations tonight just for tomorrow. And tomorrow's Sunday. Definitely not one tomorrow because I have to work. So then I was like, all right, cool. Like, I'll just try that next weekend. So the next bar or lounge that was on my list was called the shag room now i want to go here during the day too because it has like a they're calling it a twisted tea party or topsy-turvy tea party or no upside down tea party that's what it's called upside down tea party where they serve like these fancy cakes and stuff with alcohol um but that's during the day so at night it turns into a nice lounge and kind of like poker and just different like gaming stuff. And I thought it would be really cute because I feel like the theme is Las Vegas, girl. You know, I'm in Vegas and I wanted to take a picture by like some poker or something, girl. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, girl. So um, I called to make sure because it's already late. It's like 8, 30, 45, you know. So I called to make sure that I need a reservation there because I didn't want to run into the same debacle as the curiosity of cabinets, the one I was supposed to go to. And they said, yes, need a reservation. So I'm like, okay, do you have any reservations today? And she said, yeah, but that girl, they didn't have a reservation till 1130. I'm like, girl, it's okay, forget it. I'm not showing up nowhere at no 1130. <laughs> I'm just not doing that. Um, I don't like to do that. Like for me, when I go out and I do a reservation, it's like 8 to 9, 9.30 at that. If it's after 9, 9.30, girl, no. Because I already plan on spending two, three hours at the lounge. I'm not going to be there till 3, 4 in the morning. Like, girl, no. I have to get up because we made a plan. Remember, we made a plan and we're going to stick to the plan. I need to get up and get my butt to the gym. That's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, I didn't plan on being there that late. I just wanted to do maybe a midnight, maybe one, if it was just, like, really, really fun. But, girl, no, it ain't that serious. So, I'll just wait until next weekend. And um, on Monday, I'll definitely make a reservation for next week. Um, just to make sure that I can get into the secret keyhole bar. Because that's the bar that I want to get into. So basically, it's just my fault, girl. I just, I failed to follow the rules or at least do a little research on the different bars that I wanted to go to. So apparently in Vegas, it's good to have a reservation, which makes sense because this is Vegas, girl. Like everybody is here 24 seven all the time. Um, Vegas is pretty good weather. From my understanding, it's like pretty close to California, except for now it's a little cold. But people come here year-round, so things are always busy. So I get it. You know, you got to have a reservation. I get it. So my bad, girl. We ain't going out tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and take these um, eyelashes off and this makeup. And I just feel bad because this makeup is so nice. Oh, I did it so good. <laughs> I did it good, too, because I was like, I'm going to go out. Eh. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Just go for six to two around this motherfucker. Whoa, whoa.
Don't fuck around and move around this motherfucker. You must not know how we move around this motherfucker. Just play cool around this motherfucker. I said, let's do what I want. I hate the poppy and fuck her. Yeah, yeah. I said, let's do what I want. I hear the poppy and fuck her. Yeah, yeah. The Mexicans got a straight man, this motherfucker. Work coming in from LA, man, this motherfucker. Break it down, we don't sell way, man, this motherfucker. I will do that. We want $8 be a baby, man, this motherfucker. back, so we want We sell that dope in the building. In front of their neighbors and children. I got a real Mayana. My brother left on me, Matana. I know the feds got us on camera. They wanna throw us in the slimer. They wanna run up in me casa. They thirsty, go get them some agua. Three cell phones, hotline, blingin', trappin' all night. Got lawyer money, no legal aid, we be alright. What's the bail out, bail out, we all bail out. The plug ain't worried, ten more brings, just got bailed out. This is going for 62 around this motherfucker. Don't fuck around and move around this motherfucker. You must not know how we move around this motherfucker. Just play cool around this motherfucker. I said, let's do what I want. I hear the poppy and fuck her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, let's do what I want. I hear the poppy and fuck her. Niggas on the block all day, man, this motherfucker. Oh, we out here. Niggas selling dope, not gay, man, this motherfucker. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Fifth sound like an AK, man, this motherfucker. Nigga, bang, bang. Nigga, bang. Bang, bang, we a little spray, man, this motherfucker. Woo. Look at that dope, got him leaning. They know it's a 10 that they fainted. They get sick without it, they need it. I cut it with no, that's a secret. Look how the plug got me popping. I want to roll I could cop it. I could take 10 bitches shopping. You know how these bitches love shopping. Three cell phones, hotline, blinging, trapping all night. Got lawyer money, no legal aid, we be alright. What's the bail out, bail out, we all bail out. The plug ain't worried, 10 more brings, this just got bailed out. This is 62 around this motherfucker. Whoa, whoa. Don't fuck around and move around this motherfucker. You must not know how we move around this motherfucker. Just play cool around this motherfucker. Can't talk for long because there's music just playing everywhere in this town center. But we found a town center. Well, we were looking for an Alta and it took us to this town center on Las Vegas Boulevard. It is beautiful. It just has like a huge Sephora, but it's not open yet. I can't wait to explore for this place like y'all see this it's like a cute little town or something with all kind of stuff like old navy whole food so we're about to go to the altar because the altar is the only thing open because sunny needs some more um ordinary stuff and i want a love scrub so we're gonna go there and then we're gonna visit whole foods because i'm cooking tonight and oh girl let me see where we are Um, stuffed salmon and y'all know me I like to have stuff like to put in my freezer so 
got a lot of good stuff but we had to stop and eat because we're about to um try this or we're about to check out this french bakery because i found some truff oil you guys know i like that one but this one's the white one they didn't have the black one so i wanted to try it so we need some real authentic french bread grow so um sunny looked up a french bakery that's pretty close by that we're gonna go visit but i had to stop and get some food so i got something from the hot bar girl one thing about whole foods is with the food it don't look seasoned to me sunny likes it you like yours i haven't tried the chicken yet the um sweet potatoes they're all right <laughs> See, I don't know. For me, like They're Whole right. Foods, the food is not seasoned enough. But I got this um, cold pasta salad that I'm going to try. And then for hot, I got like two chicken thighs. And they had some like Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try it. Because the chicken, like look at this chicken. Look at this chicken. It don't even look like it's seasoned. Like, stop playing. I don't see not a drop of seasoning. Not a drip, drop, drop. It's alright. But yeah. It's not. It's okay. Like, it's edible because I'm starving. But Whole Foods Hot Bar for me. Y'all know I like a little bit of seasoning on my chicken. It's not seasoned enough. All right, you guys, we found the French bakery. It looks a little, I don't know, sus because the other one had us used to a nice environment, but we'll see. Girls, mm -mm. girls, we've been set up. No, it was like Mexican pastries. <laughs> so I said I'm going to get canceled. No, I'm not because look, look, like. It's hard to find an authentic French place. It is. <laughs> She's left. I'm not, cause I, I'm not being racist. She thinks I'm being racist. I'm just saying like, that's not an authentic French restaurant. Like, I mean a French bakery. Authentic French bakeries even smell different. Like, no, those were like Mexican pastries and stuff. So girl, we didn't got duped. So we have to go to, um, I told y'all it's really, really hard to find a French bakery, like authentic French bakery. So we're gonna have to go to Smith's and get a French bread. But we need to go there anyway to get um cinnamon sugar. I need um cinnamon sugar to make my sweet potatoes tonight. So um we'll be on our way over there. <sighs> y'all, I am so annoyed and I have a headache. So my god sister and her husband i don't know where they at they were supposed to come out this tv i've been calling them texting them since yesterday girl they ain't answer but they online and stuff so i don't know so that just made me upset so i bought the tv kit and everything i don't know how to get the thing off so i'm gonna have to girl i'm gonna have to um get somebody else to do it because i'm just i cannot like don't say you're gonna come and you don't come girl like don't do that <sighs> so um and i went to smith's whole foods all of this stuff and i forgot my chicken fries so i'm gonna have to go back probably right now because if i instacart it it's gonna be like 20 30 dollars and chicken fries like 2.99 girl stuff so i'm gonna have to go back but let me give y'all a haul real quick Oh, I also got um something to be able to remember that the trim body glow I was telling y'all about that um that body glow oil body wash I finally got it in the mail so <sighs> excuse my attitude bro I got attitude I'm just annoyed like I just cannot believe it like first Saturday went by and like you know they didn't contact me or anything saying they still gonna go out which okay people cancel on me about that all the time and I just go anyway but like now you're not answering or nothing like when I call you today and you online so obviously you online I can see you I can see you you posting pictures and stuff <sighs> okay like I, I don't know maybe something happened girl we don't know I'm just like okay girl okay 
So that just really annoyed me because now my TV's not mounted. And I wanted my TV to be mounted by November 23rd because that's when my show was coming on. So now I have to like find somebody to mount this TV. So anyway, I'm just annoyed. Let me get my groceries. Girl, and, and um, I went to Ulta and Just what I wanted because the love scrub is now on Ulta Online only. Because I saw, well, at least in Virginia, you could buy them at the Ulta store, but I guess they switch up to online only. So <sighs> now I'm gonna buy it online, girl. So from Ulta, this is Sunny's, her ordinary uh, toner. But, um, this one is the multi-peptide HA plus serum. I wanted to get this for, um, I think you can use it in the daytime. It's for, like, anti-aging and, like, um, collagen support. Y'all know. I'm in my early 30s, so I'm into, like, anti-aging stuff or whatever. <laughs> so, one more skincare item I didn't need. So, anyway, I got some Naked Juice. Um, the blue machine. I love, I love the red machine. It's my favorite one, but they didn't have that one. I got some basic stuff like ketchup and mustard roll because I didn't even have ketchup and mustard. Like, it's like, I told y'all, it's like the basic things that I be forgetting that I don't have. And I got cinnamon sugar because I'm going to make, um, sweet potato fries tonight. And I got me a, a pink, this is Moscato, but it's peach fruit Moscato bubbly. I don't think I'm going to have that today. I thought I was, but my head hurt because I'm just so annoyed, girl. Um, we went to Whole Foods. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm not even done with Smith's yet. I got one more bag over here. So, oh, this is the French bread from Smith because I told y'all that French place was a catfish. And then, um... Some more Evian water. Y'all know I'm hooked on these. This is the, all the water. <laughs> this is the only water that I would drink now, bro. It just tastes so much smoother and better. So anyway, now we're getting into Whole Foods. So Whole Foods, I got two things of sweet potatoes because I'm going to make um, homemade chicken strips today. I got my um, chicken tender, like, um, what are these called? Chicken, uh, oh, chicken tenders, boneless, skinless chicken tenders. I have them, uh, thawed out there because I'm going to put them in the air fryer and make some homemade chicken tenders. If I can go get my chicken fry. I got some more milk. And, um, I found the truff oil girl to go with my, um. Uh, French bread, but this is the white one. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember when I was getting the black one? So they didn't have the black one. They just had the white one. So we gonna see what the white one tastes like. And I also got a seafood seasoning because I did get some special seafood at Whole Foods. Like, girl, Whole Foods is my favorite when it comes to seafood because they have the best precious things. So these, I think I showed y'all in the B-roll, these are like lobsters, but they're split already and they have seasoning and like garlic already on them. They're called, um, are they called lobster skewers? They're called um, garlic parsley lobster grillers. So they're already on a stick and they're half split. So I got four of them so that two each makes a lobster tail. So it's just... I just love how Whole Foods has like the most creative things like this. Like already split lobster tails with the seasoning and the butter on them. Girl, we're going to make a meal out of that. That's probably what I'm going to make for Thanksgiving because I don't plan on making a big huge dinner for Thanksgiving because there's no big huge family. It's just me and Sunny and Dior. And then um, I have here, um, what is this? 
Oh, the crab cake stuffed salmon fillets. So it already has like um, crab already in there. I bought a thing of croissants because I'm like, for some reason, me and Sunny have been addicted to croissants at Starbucks. So in order to save money, we got our own croissants here. And what else? Oh, and that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it because the rest is just our food that we were eating in the car. From that, let me see. Let me open this package because I am. I have been awaiting, patiently awaiting this package from uh, Natrium because I don't know about y'all, but TikTok be making me buy a lot of things, and I feel like doing a video on that, like the things that TikTok has made me buy because this was all over TikTok, and it made me just want to try it because I've been having like um, winter skin, you know, like itchy dry skin because of the winter and this is supposed to be really good because it's supposed to be a really good body wash and what i like about natrium because i have another one of their body washes that i purchased from target i love that natrium's body washes are so big even though olay's body washes are big too i just feel like natrium's they might be a little bigger now in ounce wise i don't know but um I feel like they're just huge and they last a long time. But maybe Olay's a little bigger. I don't know. Or maybe Olay's is a little wider. So this is the body wash. So it's the Natrium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. It's supposed to be clean ingredients and everything with this brand. And I just, I can't wait to try this in the shower tonight. So I'm definitely going to take me a 45 minute hot shower. Because I'm just... I'm just really annoyed. I'm just really annoyed, girl. So anyway, uh, let me check to see what Instacart is gonna charge me for some chicken fry. If not, I'm just gonna go and get it.